Hello everyone, welcome back to Antimatter Dimensions. So, remember that we have done Challenge 8 six times and I want to switch to normal runs now. We got all these infinity upgrades and finally, um, I'm re I forgot to mention that our last infinity was only 18 minutes. But because, um, I just waited a long time to do this episode, what I'm going to do to get a good infinity time is I'm going to start a challenge and then exit it so that the infinity timer will reset and then I'll hold M and do an infinity run normally. So I'm just going to record this run so that you can see how we do a normal run and um, so it's pretty fast um, because we got all these upgrades and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to be... Um, flying through this first dimension shift. We're already up to a billion. And while I'm doing this, I want to talk to you about a plan I have, because obviously there's no reality update, but there is another way to increase the playtime and add new mechanics to the game. And those are the New Game Minus mods. So last night I tried New Game Minus 4 and I actually got a dimension shift. It is considered pretty hardcore, but it's actually not too bad. It's only New Game Minus 5 that's really bad. So I figured I'll just, once I get to the end of the main game on my other save, I will, which I'm pretty close to doing, I'm almost at the seventh time dimension, I will start a series on New Game Minus Minus, New Game Minus Minus Minus, and New Game Minus 4. So yeah, stay tuned for that, and, um, well, they start out a lot like the main game, but then New Game Minus 4, um, well, you need time dimensions, and that's weird, because in this game, you don't unlock time dimensions until a much later stage. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, I'll explain why once we do that particular modification. And the thing is, the dimension, um, boosts and stuff actually give a boost now, so, yeah. That's going to um, help us. And the reason why I bought singles there on the fifth dimension was just so that the M key would prioritize it so I'd get the dimension shift a bit faster. Yeah, you can see um, um, the fact that the dimension shifts actually give a boost is helping. Like, we got to billions really fast. Wow, look at this. Oh, wait, that was only... Yeah, we need, a, like, 106 tilly, and I thought that we were, like, done already. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, we're getting together. We're nearly there. It's so fast, bro. We're just gonna... There we go. Now, I'm just going to... There we go. And now we need, like, non-aliens... But that shouldn't be difficult at all, because, I mean, we get a boost, and we have all these upgrades, so. Even without the dimension shift boost, it would still be easy, so. Because we've seen in challenge 8. Um, so, there we go. Sextillions. And so soon, I'm going to... Dimension shift again. And we're actually going to get an achievement on this run, and I'll explain why later. Um, here we go. And so we're starting again. How long have we spent in this infinity? Three minutes. It's crazy. We've already unlocked the eighth dimension, and it's only been three minutes. So. Um. Wow, we're back up to septillions. And here we go, octillions, nonillions. We just need like E39. And then we'll be good. Let's reset again, and this time we've unlocked dimensional sacrifice. So, um, once we've unlocked the 8th dimension, which should be in a few seconds, I'm going to sacrifice and... That's just going to help us even more. This is like the first 14 episodes 
um, speed run, not speed run, but like time lapsed. And wow, so we need thirty five, but that should happen pretty soon. We just need like a sixty nine. Sixty nine. <laughs> um. Again, I think sixty nine that means something inappropriate, but I don't know. People joke about it, so. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Um. We need fifty this time. It's getting faster. And so instead of focusing on sacrificing, we're just focusing on getting dimension boosts. So we need like E85 this time. And each infinity run is just going to be this but faster, but there is going to be a little twist which I'll show you. It's the reason why we're going to get the achievement. Um, it's, it's just going to make the run faster. You'll see why. Um, and there we go, let's dimension boost again. We got to the 8th dimension pretty fast. And we're continuing to sacrifice. So, like this run will normally be very slow, but I'm maintain maintaining my momentum. And some of these infinity upgrades will help even more. Um, there's some that are practically useless um like for example notably this one but other than that um most of them are really good um the sacrifice again um and we need e114 so we're going to get that pretty soon we're already up to like e109 and normally this dimension boost run, like, in the first, um, infinity would take, like, over an hour. But that's not the case this time. We're maintaining our momentum. Here we go. Now this is the run to get a galaxy. Whoa. That was super fast, bro. And we're already up to E80. So we need E130 this time. Um... So we're just going to be, over these next few episodes, we're going to be getting some of these achievements um, in row 3. We'll get them very soon. And you'll see. Um, we need 130. It's sort of like approximately an order of progress. We have two achievements in this row, but um, like this row is a little bit later. Okay, um, we need, yeah, we're basically there, so let's get a galaxy. Now, here's the thing. You'll see that the pace picks up on this galaxy, and we won't actually need a second one. It will be faster to go infinite with just one antimatter galaxy, which will get us this achievement. And, um, so, you'll kind of, you'll kind of see how it just, um, how, like, it feels like you have two galaxies, and so you won't need to get a second one. Um, and so it starts out like the beginning of a run, but the pace will pick up eventually. And how long has it been? It's been about eight minutes. Um, so um, if we take less than 18 minutes, then that's good, because... Our fastest infinity time is currently 18 minutes and 19 seconds. That's 3.2 infinity points per hour. Um, and so... In this episode, I might aim to get these two upgrades here. Um, and so... Um, yeah, um... Uh, that's gonna be my goal. Maybe every episode I'll set a goal. Because I have experience and I know what I can do in a reasonable amount of time. After all, I've gone I've gone through a grand run of this game, so... I'm pretty experienced. 
and I think I'm ready to go for some of the really hardcore New Game Minus mods. And I think it might be a little bit overwhelming to start all of them at once, but I really want to do New Game Minus 4. Um, so I think I'll just try. And then I'll focus on uploading these while doing some New Game Minus mods. And I might even do New Game Minus 5 eventually. But New Game Minus 5 is just... It's just ridiculous. Um... Like, you're stuck in, um, well, basically, you're stuck in a challenge where the game runs a thousand times slower, and if that's the case, I have no idea. I'm not going to say what this does, but if that's the case, I have no idea how you're going to, like, do anything with this. So a lot of you who are more advanced might know why I'm saying this. Um, and... So, yeah. Um, I'm I'm always like, yeah, um, because, like, I know I want to say something, but, like, I don't know what. Um. So, I'm pretty happy with the new A-minus mods, and as I said, I wanted to talk more about my life, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, uh, I've been a bit sad because, uh, I'm, I'm a nerd, as you probably have seen. And other people at school are just obsessed with football and Fortnite, so I don't really have anything in common to talk to people about, which is kind of sad. Um, other than, um, like, you know, silly things that people my age like that I find funny because I'm still a normal person in that way, but I can't really talk to people about my interests such as this game, so... But I actually found a way to solve that problem because um, because of Discord. It basically lets you talk to people about your interests. And so I'm, um, yeah, now I'm feeling a little bit better about that because I know that, well, I can't go to school now, but I know that when I get home, I'll be able to go on Discord and talk to people about the things I like instead of just being sad that nobody at school likes them. Um, and so, yeah. Okay, the pace is picking up here. We don't need a second galaxy. We're just going to get dimension boost, and it's going to feel like it's inflating as if we had two galaxies. Like you saw in part 14, how the dimension boosts were getting faster and faster until they each just took, like, less than a minute. Um, because, like, the growth gets closer to exponential. It would probably be exponential if it was, like, um, I don't know, like, 14.5, 15, or something. I don't know exactly what, maybe like 15, probably like, I've seen that by like 16 or 17, it's like much faster than exponential. Okay. Okay, it's clearly a lot faster now. Um, so we're going to reach infinity soon. And it's been 12 minutes, so we're probably going to get a new infinity time. And so... Yeah. Whoa. I don't know why it feels like the early game picks up so much on this 8 dimension boost, when we have 8 dimension boosts. So I'm holding M most of the time in challenge 8 and um, now, because... Okay, here we go. Let's just keep dimension boosting. And soon we're going to finally get this achievement, because we're not going to get a second galaxy because we don't need one. I've I've noticed that um, once you switch back to normal runs, getting a second galaxy only slows you down. Of course, it will become like super fast afterwards, but um, it's just not worth it, because you have to like, get like back to where you were. Um, so... Basically growing exponentially, like it would be like a huge grind in the first infinity. This is just the first infinity sped up, except we don't even need a second galaxy. Um, I think it's slower if we don't get any galaxies, but um, as you can see, we'll eventually start with one galaxy, so that won't be a problem, and then we'll break infinity, and so um. 
yeah, it'll kind of change. Because instead of getting a fast infinity time, we're going to want to maximize our infinity point gain. And so we'll actually want to get galaxies. Um, but here, because we're trying to get a fixed amount of antimatter as fast as possible, getting a galaxy isn't exactly worth it. Okay, it feels like we have two galaxies now. Um, but these upgrades just give a multiplier on all dimensions, making the run faster. But this increases the multiplier for buying 10 dimensions, so that might be why it feels faster as the run goes on. Um, so we are nearly at infinity. Um, this run, probably. And there we go. We're going to be crunch. And that took us claustrophobic. That's the achievement. That took us 15 minutes. So that's nearly four infinity points per hour. And because you basically know um, what infinities are like, I'm just going to um, cut and because there's really nothing to see. However, there is one upgrade I can get. It's this one. And unfortunately, that doesn't decrease it by 10, so we still need to roughly get the same amount of animator. But on the ones that cost like 35 and 65 and stuff, it helps even more. So I'm just going to let go of M, then buy this, so I can get the dimension shift a bit faster. It's been only like 40 seconds, and um, soon we're going to be down to like 10 minute runs. But anyway, it's basically going to be the same, so I'll see you all a bit later. Okay guys, as you can see, we're almost done with the infinity, so I figured I'd just update you, and so it looks like we're going to get a new infinity time this run, because we've been going for only 11 minutes, and so, um, unfortunately we're not going to be able to get another upgrade because this one costs 2 infinity points, um, so we're finally going to actually have an infinity point. Like, um... Like, we're just going to, like, have one. And now, um... We're going to be crunch, and... Hopefully this infinity should be even faster. We're down to 11 minutes. We skipped 4 per hour. We're up to 5 infinity points per hour. That is crazy. And... Um, so... Yeah, I'll see you a little bit later once again, um, and then we're going to get this upgrade, and I think I'm going to end the video after that, and we're almost going to get this achievement, because this is our ninth infinity, and we need to reach infinity ten times, and so, yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so again, we're nearly at the end of the run, and I'm finally going to be able to get this, um... So, um, I'll just do more infinities per episode as my infinity time goes down. Um, but after, um, but the thing is, this upgrade increases every infinity, so even if we don't get an upgrade, our infinity time will still gradually get faster. Um, but, um, like, um, okay, finally, big crunch, so now we're going to, um, get this upgrade here. And so we've got all of these um, infinity upgrades in the first two columns. So that's nice progress. We've nearly got 10 infinities. And I promise we're going to start challenges soon. I like to do them after I've got these upgrades. So I am going to um, say bye for now and I will see you next time.